guys in the fast lane here. In this video, I'm going to be doing a product review on the Blue Driver. It's by Lemur and it's a wireless vehicle monitoring system. Basically, you take this little device and you plug it into your OBD2 port on your vehicle and it can scan it just like the scan tools that have the wired version. But this one is a Bluetooth version which you can actually connect it to your cell phone, whether it be Android, an iPhone with the iOS operating system, or an iPad. Uh, after this review, I'm going to be giving the second one away for free. I'm going to raffle it off on my website, so at the end of this review, you're going to be able to see how to do that. So this device right here, it pretty much can read and clear codes. It can uh, show you repair reports. Also, it can freeze frames. It has a smog check on it. Um, it has uh, six modes where you can advance test results, onboard diagnostic system, and monitor. Um, and also has live data. This product right here can do a graph, it can have gauges, and it can even data log and save data to a CSV file. Let's go ahead and open it up. Have a look at this. See what we got in here. So here it is, pretty simple. So you can see it's got a little LED light right here. It looks pretty neat. Just, this is the OBD2 port, you just plug it right underneath. Usually, Nine times out of ten, it's underneath your steering column, uh, down by the gas pedals. So pretty much, you just plug it in. Before you do that, you're just going to go to uh, your Google Play Store, or you, if you have the scan tool, the uh, little app, you can scan right here on the device or on the box, and it will go ahead and uh, download it for you. But if you can't, just go on in there and type in the lemur and it should pop up in the Google Play. Model number on this guy is a LSB2, obviously Bluetooth, and it runs off of 12 volts. Size comparison, obviously if you're gonna be scanning with a wired one, this is the OBD2 scanner. This does exactly what this does, so it's pretty much a size difference. Also, you don't have to have this wire hooked up. And another thing is you don't have to have batteries. So no batteries for this guy. And if you are familiar with the range of size in these OBD2 scanners, some of them can get as big as a small laptop. For the iPhone, just go to the App Store and type in Lemur up at the top, and it says Lemur Vehicle Monitors. Go ahead, click that, and hit Get It, and Install. For Android, you just type in Blue Driver, and there it is right there, OBD Scan Tool. Go ahead, install it. All you do is go to settings, you're going to go to Bluetooth, if it's not on go ahead and check on, and you'll find when you got it plugged into your vehicle it'll say your uh, blue driver. You can select it and then just add it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this blue driver right here and we're going to stick it underneath the steering column. So if you come up under here, right here, this is the port we're going to put it in. So we just take it and we just pretty much plug it right in. It's gonna light up blue. And once it lights up blue, we gotta go over to the cell phone and we gotta turn on our Bluetooth device. Now we're back at the cell phone, and this is an iPhone. Uh, it's the 5S. Uh, if you have uh, Android, you just go into your settings and enable Bluetooth, pretty similar to what we're doing here. So we just go to settings, and we're gonna go to Bluetooth, and we're gonna turn it on by pressing this little tab right here. And we're waiting for it to scan, and there it is right there, blue driver. So we just connect it. Let's go ahead and tap it, and it's going to connect. And the Bluetooth uh, little dongle over here is going to start flashing blue. That means it's connected. So now we come back over here and just go back to the main screen. We already downloaded the app earlier, and we hit the blue driver. And the thing that's neat about this is you can do all your scans and logs and freeze frames, smog checks, pretty much everything while the vehicle's running. It also has a little nifty flashlight right here. So you can, uh, if you need to plug in the blue driver, you can just hit the flashlight. So pretty much if you want to clear codes while the vehicle's running, you can just read codes. Once it says this little pro tip, just click it. It says one confirmed trouble code. It's probably going to be my flaps. Yep. It says right here, 
intake manifold runner. I went ahead and deleted them, so of course it's gonna say that. So if we wanna go ahead and clear them, basically you could just hit it right here, clear codes, and that's pretty much it. Also, you can click the clear codes and just go straight to it, and it'll clear them automatically. As far as uh, the more down here, uh, it has a user manual, it's got settings, you can pretty much turn tips on, tips off, reset tips, um, you can change your graph and gauge units to metric or imperial, whichever one you choose. Um, it's update sensor, you can check for updates, say it gets uh, down the road and they come out with new updates, you can just click that and it'll update it. Uh, you can contact them and order another sensor. You got your smog test down here. You can hit scan at the top and it'll scan it and then it'll let you know pretty much where you're at uh, with the smog if you'll possibly pass and stuff like that. Obviously I'm not but I'm in Florida so it doesn't matter. <laughs> now these modes right here they're just advanced test results for onboard diagnostic system monitors so that's pretty much what you you probably won't need to use this at all. Mileage status and stuff like that um, pretty much tells you when you're driving and stuff. It'll tell you what you're getting uh, per gallon and stuff like that. Uh, you can hit live right here at the bottom. And here it is right here. It's telling us our engine coolant and intake uh, manifold pressure, RPM. And if you come up to the top over here and hit this little gear, you can select stuff that you want by checking it. Just go through the list and if you want it to show up on the live status, you can just select them. And then when you go back, it'll be in here in this little live bar. As far as repair reports right here, go ahead and select it. And you can hit report. And it'll pretty much tell you about your vehicle, uh, your trouble codes possible causes um, and it'll say right right here it says nine possible or nine frequently reported fixes and you can pretty much go through the list and it'll give you a good idea of what you possibly need to fix then over here it tells you your make uh, it tells you what engine you have in there product number it's pretty neat so it, it gives you quite a bit of information as far as the freeze frame right here does exactly what it says it'll pretty much freeze the screen um, can print an image or whatever it just pretty much shows you everything that's going on live now one more really neat feature about this product is when you go to the live tab right here you can select these little arrows on the side and it'll bring up a gauge so here's the gauge and I'm gonna go ahead and hit the gas and you can see went up recorded the data down in the graph Let's go back and check out uh, intake temp, saying 124 Fahrenheit on the gauge. Maybe it'll go up just a little bit with a rev. Probably not. Let's go back to another one. You got your mass airflow. Really neat information, especially if you're looking to see what your car's doing after a tune or pretty much anything intake manifold absolute pressure vehicle speed let's see what else we got in here and like I said you can uh, you can pretty much select more you go up to the settings up here and you can hit all and you can hit fuel pressure and just O2 just it's pretty much endless all these you can select there's just tons of them just tons and tons and tons so we'll go back and yep there's uh, distance traveled to record all that and it's pretty much endless here's the O2 we just checked off it's at point well six four five it's kinda going all over the place but you can read all this information and pretty much get what you need out of it so here's how you enter the in the fast lane sweepstakes first thing you do is you go to inthefastlane.com then you click sweepstakes read the official rules right here once you've read those come back over here to video sweepstakes you click that make sure you're logged into your Google YouTube ID 
Right here you'll click in the fast lane sweepstakes entry and these are the raffles. Uh, this is the last one so let's click this and you can see how people only put a number 1 through 100 and that's what you'll do. Once you're done with that at the bottom here there's a video it shows who won the sweepstake raffle. Also once you're done with this you can come back over here and see who won. Uh, there will always be a picture they submit it so Tony from California he won the GP30.